Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm going to show off and test uh, my travel board here that I've put together for doing demos at Toman's Gearhead University 2019. Uh, as of today, as of recording this, I'll be there in about a week. I wanted to put together a board that allowed me to record anywhere I want to on Toman's premises with the sounds that I like to have when I demo guitars and pedals and whatnot. And this is, uh, this is gonna cover it. I'm pretty excited with uh, how it's come together. Um, the core of this thing is a Line 6 HX Stomp. Uh, Line 6 was very kind to line me up with one of these. I explained my situation and explained the needs that I had and thought that the HX Stomp would be the great solution, uh, the best solution to what I'm trying to do. And so thankfully they humored me and they lined me up with an HX Stomp about a month ago. So I've had a good amount of time to get it figured out and put together some patches that I think are gonna work really well for how I like to demo. Then I've got the Fender Traverb right next to it. I need to have a drippy surfy reverb when I go out demo and stuff. So that's gonna fill that role. I've got it on separate power from the HX Stomp because uh, the Nomad board I have here, which is a battery board, the powers the HX Stomp great, but plugging in the Traverb, uh, they don't talk well e with each other. It's not an isolated power source. So I'm running the Traverb off of an external USB battery. Uh, and now it's just fine, no noise or anything like that. It just get a little bit of a whine when they share the same power source. Then of course, I've got my Zoom H6 up there, my field recorder. It's gonna be the uh, recording hub for everything. The guitar goes in there, my voice goes in there. My voice comes through this Rode Link uh, receiver for my lav mic that I'm wearing right now. So that's it. Oh, also I've got this arm sticking off the back of it that'll allow me to get overhead shots with my iPhone of anything I wanna get. So I could pull the Traverb out and throw, you know, like a Harley Benton pedal on there or something like that. Or I could just do an overhead on the HX Stomp and do, you know, some fun HX Stomp content while I'm at Toman. You know, the sky's the limit. All right, let's press record on that. And now I'm gonna plug in my headphones. By the way, there's a couple headphone options for me. I'm gonna plug into the Stomp right now on the left side of it for the best sounding option for the guitar. But if I wanna hear my voice, I'm doing interviews and need to hear everyone else, I can plug into the Zoom H6 and hear the full mix out of that. It's just a little bit crispy and lo-fi out of that headphone mix from the H6. Um, it's not fully representative of the signal as it's actually recorded. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put this, we'll start off with my surf setting here and I'll go through how I built this. Sounds decently surfy to me. Uh, you'll notice that I'm using the reverb from the Traverb here. I'll show off why I'm not using the built-in reverb from the HX Stomp. Here is that, uh, the HX Stomp's reverb. It's got a drippy thing going on, but it's just a really unique sound. It's got more of like a, you know, hitting a steel cable with a spoon kind of sound. Like it's very metallic, like empty drum sort of thing. Compare it again to the Traverb. It's just a more classic drip on there. Also, I've got a uh, tremor loaded on here. I've got a, a little bit of drive if I want it, but I've also got tremolo here. All right, let's check out the next setting that I have. This is a crunch setting. So what we've got here you'll notice that there's a split to two different boxes here. That box is the amplifier. What do I have loaded? A Tweed Blues Normal, and then it splits to two different cabs that are hard panned left and right so that I'm getting two different recordings into my field recorder. I've got a four by uh, 10 Tweed 
and I've got a 4x12 green back. Different mics and different placements on them as well to get the sound that I'm going for. And then I have a little bit of a reverb splash after it and a three band compressor before all of it. <laughs> It's just a bit of like a bluesy crunch that I think is going to be a useful thing to have. Now this is my high gain sound. <laughs> it's not an over the top like heavy metal sort of thing, it's just like a stacked Marshall kind of like big overdrive sound. I do have a Tube Screamer in the mix that I can turn on with one of my snapshots that gets it pushed more into a metal territory. But I'm not really a metal player, am I? But it'll be nice to have that. And then I've got kind of like a flat pedal platform sort of sound here. Just flat and clean and a little bit twangy. It might be the, uh, the Telecaster given that twang there. But with each of these settings, I'm doing basically the same thing. I've got an amp that I'm splitting into two different cabs with different settings to give me options in post. That's really the most important thing about this rig. So I'm excited to edit this and see what it sounds like in post. Uh, if you have questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have ideas for things that I should have loaded in the HX stop that I should use as you know a standard or a, a base thing to demo guitars with, uh, make suggestions in the comments down below. If you have any other comments, I probably already said that, but. Yeah, I'm just looking for some interaction here, guys. Let's talk about this. I, I'm really excited about this rig. I'm excited to be spending some time at Toman and uh, be making all kinds of content. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me a rude and asking comments. Uh, you know the whole drill. Support us on Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Click links down below, whatever. Um, and stay grounded. Bye, everybody. <laughs>